Hey guys, Hans here. Not much time. Let's go through a lightning round of issues. One of the big issues I saw today was that Kevin O'Connell was given a workout today by the Jets. He was the only one. He, he's a quarterback. We don't need a quarterback. We have three quarterbacks. We have Sanchez. We have Tebow. We have McElroy. We don't need a fourth quarterback. We don't really need a quarterback on our roster. What we need is a running back. We have Powell injured. McKnight injured. Where, where's, the, is, where's the urgency for a running back? Where's the urgency for a blocking tight end? Come on. We have better issues that we can fo be focusing on rather than adding another QB, which we obviously don't need. Last night, the San Diego Chargers put up 24 points in the first half and then didn't even bother to show up in the second half. It's like they're fucking napping or something. What the fuck is up with that? I mean, Philip Rivers, four interceptions, six turnovers. How crazy is that? Mark Sanchez must be counting his fucking blessings that he's not this guy. And then and then Melvin Ingram, he barely puts up a good game. People wanted him over Quentin Copels, who got one and a half sacks, two tackles, two assists. Are you fucking crazy, people? What the hell? And speaking of our defense, it's about fuck time we saw some semblance of something coming together. Week 6 against the Colts. The Colts got crushed! Nine points, all field goals. That is really fucking amazing. Holding their running game to just over 50 yards. That is really fucking awesome, people. And then we held Reggie Wayne, who had just over 200 yards the week before, to just about 80 to 90 yards this time around. That is really fucking amazing, people. And consider all, almost all of Reggie Wayne's yards all is in garbage time. That is just really fucking amazing, people. I mean, sure, Donald Brown was out, and they had some rookie who I'm not even bothering to look up who they are. And I'm just, no, I'm, that's just amazing. But can we keep this up against New England? New England finally has a solid running game, a solid passing game, decent enough receiving core. Brandon Lloyd got hurt this past week against Seattle. He's probable, though, so... Can we keep can we keep this up? Can we defeat the juggernaut? That is going to be the big question today. Can our defense last? And then can our offense get on the field and then keep the de our defense off the field, keep their defense on the field, get them tired right the fuck out, and then just exploit the fuck out of their nasty-ass secondary with Patrick Chung, who's just absolutely terrible, and McCrory, who's just, he's just, Ever since his rookie season, he just really fell off. So, this is all things, all things that we have to consider for this upcoming week. And all that fun stuff. So much for a lightning round of issues this time, guys. I mean, I wish I could have given a little more notice on what kind of issues you guys wanted. But, I'm doing this pretty much every day. So, I'll, I'll, try, and, I'll try and give a little more notice a week, like a week ahead of time next time I do this. But, you guys can always follow me at It's Oasis on Twitter. You can always check me out on www.floppingout.com. That is F-L-O-P-P-I-N-G-O-U-T. So thank you very much for watching my blog today. This is Hans. I'm signing off.